Good. We're here to great. ask. Like, the fact that we're still walking the halls and we don't have all the votes is pretty depressing. And so, when, this is one of the votes we don't have. We're here to ask why we have to be here today. Why Senator Manchin is considering betraying women. Uh, the senators, like you guys are probably aware, has called for an FBI investigation into the allegations against Judge Kavanaugh. Allegations are plenty. The fact that he has been accused by credible witnesses is all we need to know. Sure, I'm glad that he's calling for the FBI investigation, but he needs to come out firmly and strongly and say, whatever happens from here, there is no way I would vote yes on Kavanaugh. This is somebody who jeopardizes our right to our own reproduction, somebody who's a threat to the environment, to racial justice, and to uh, who has supported um, more, torture. who torture. supported torture, more executive power, and going to war. This is a no-brainer. Why are we going to Democrats' offices today? I, I can only speak for what the senator has said in the past, and I can just echo his statements, which I'm sure you guys have heard. Um, I can certainly pass your concerns along to the senator for you. Uh, I can also see if our judiciary staffers are available to speak with you if you're interested in that. That would be great. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we have some young women here today. I know I grew up with the right to control my own reproduction. What does it feel to you that you might not have access to choice. I mean, even my mother, she's a Republican and she's afraid that Roe versus Wade is going to be overturned. Like she, we can't afford to lose one Democrat on this. Right. Like we already have the Republicans against us. We can't afford our own people who are supposed to be fighting for us to, to not be on our side. Right. I, I understand, ladies. Uh, just give me one second. I will see if our judiciary staffers are available to speak with y'all. So we're here in Senator Manchin's office and uh, he has still not come out and said that he will be voting no on Kavanaugh. There are six senators that are, will be deciding this vote. Three of them are Democrats. That is just embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Shameful. It's Shameful. It's, I'm not embarrassed, it's a shame. And not only that, but they should be leading the way so that the Republican women that need to move over can move over. The fact that we're spending energy and time on Democrats, shameful. I mean, and it's, it's not even an, a question to watch him in the hearing and think that that is judicial material. The Supreme Court of the United States should make him want to, like, I don't understand. What is he thinking? Yes, ma'am. Hi, hey, um, this is Bridget. I, uh, take you guys for just a second out in the hallway. Hi, She's our judiciary Hello. staffer, so I'm judiciary staff. Staff. I'm I'm just for a moment. I had to step out another meeting to come chat with you, so that's why you weren't able to meet with us. So Thank happy you. to meet with you guys out here. I welcome. Right, Thank fine. you. We're asking why a Democratic senator would be considering betraying women. Um, I mean, I can't speak for the senator, of course, a member of his staff. But right now, what we're trying to do and have been from the onset um, has been trying to consider all the facts that are presented before us and uh, the facts that he has been looking at since before all of this has come before him has been around um, certain concerns around ACA and the protections for that. So that's what he's trying, been trying to recently um, been look at all of that kind of stuff and including to other concerns he has around his judicial record. And this is all the things that the senator was looking at ahead of when um, everything else has come out since then. And I think that since the al those, these allegations have come out and they've been credible and the senator has praised um, the FBI investigation and all that kind of stuff, I think he's now trying to look at that component as well. Um, and I can tell you that you know he's looking at each portion of it every day. Um, he definitely is really engaged in trying to hear from all of you. So he appreciates you guys coming and sharing your stories. What we would like you also to bring back with him are some additional concerns that we have such as Kavanaugh's support for increasing executive power, the power to go to war, Kavanaugh's disregard for international law, and his support for torture. This is unacceptable, and we would like to see Senator Manchin not just applaud the FBI investigation, which is great, but to come out very firmly and say, no, no matter what, I will not be voting yes on Kavanaugh, so that we can focus our energy on Republican women and those three Republicans who are on the fence. We have a lot of work to do to stop this nomination from happening and the confirmation from happening. We should not have to be in this office doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you say he's been doing all this investigation beforehand, there's so much 
that is already so obvious why he should not be a Supreme Court justice, what's in the way? So um, he has always been very committed, um, the senator's always very committed to his um, his con constitutional duty to advise and consent. So he met with um, Judge Kavanaugh beforehand and had a conversation about certain items that I've raised and were concerned to him. And then he went on, you know, went under oath. And so you can have a conversation when you're in person, but you need to see, okay, when he's under oath, is he giving that same rhetoric? So he needed to see if that matched up. So then he wanted to be able to discuss these things further with him afterwards saying, okay, you told me this here, this is what happened in this meeting, and then after that, is this how I'm interpreting right in all of that? So I think that's where his mindset came through on all of that and trying to make sure he's understanding the laws and the cases in the way that they have gone through. So, good. What if I just? I'm sorry, I have to okay. say bye to these folks. I was just meeting with them and stepped out of that meeting with them to meet with you all. But thank you again for coming. Please tell him to come out with a firm. I will vote no so that we can get on to trying to work on those that we should be focusing on. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys thank taking you. the time. I'll be sure to pass on that message.